find out you're going in, or was kind of the conversation when you found out that you were going in? Well, it happened on the field. I mean, like everything on the field, it happens quick. Just uh, one drive. Uh, we knew about the drive where he got hurt that he felt not great out there. They were like, be ready, stay ready to go in. And uh, next drive, they were let me know. They let me know I'm going in and just had to be ready. How difficult is it when, you know, you didn't, I'm assuming you weren't expecting this kind of moment to, what well, kind of, was the adrenaline going, kind of was kind of going through your mind? Yeah, I mean, the adrenaline's always going when you're about to go play a game, especially the first play, you know, it's always got to get that first play out of the way, but um, I know for two weeks now, I've had to stay ready. When you're next man up, you have to be ready to go in, apparently if you're the starter, and you're ready to go in, and I thought I did a good job of that, I was ready to go in, and yeah, so. You hit uh, Gill on a couple of throws there, um, just that one, you, you got it right in front of the D-back, you zipped it right in there, and then the other one down to the one. Can you yeah. walk us through those those plays? I mean, yeah, that's just credit to Gill, too. I mean, he's a fantastic route runner, and he knows how to get open. He's a safety valve out there. He's always a guy you can get the ball to if you're, uh, you need to get the ball out. Do you have a moment where you felt, finally felt comfortable out there at all? Like, like I felt comfortable the whole time. I mean, I've been playing football my whole life. Um, you know, and especially the old linemen. I mean, those guys, like, just encouraging, and everyone on the sideline. I mean, all the coaches, they were just very encouraging. Said, we know what you can do, we know you can play, and you gotta go out there and be yourself. And I thought that was awesome, and I was ready to go, sir. Coach Lester say anything to you? Oh uh, yeah, he's on the headset. Yeah. So I'm on the I'm on the headset with him all game as yeah. backup, so. Yes, what, did, what did he say to you? Make sure we're going in, anything? Uh, same thing as everyone else. I mean, he just said, I, I believe in you, and, I know you can go in there and play well, so just play to the best of your abilities. Before last week, like how much work have you even gotten with like Iowa's offense? I was on scout team yeah, so before mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. two weeks ago, so not much. Okay. But uh, <laughs> I got fall camp and uh, these last two weeks. But I felt yeah. like, uh, I mean, again, credit to everyone on offense. I mean, they've been great, just especially the second string guys and the first string guys, just like getting me involved in the practice, getting me caught to speed and. Yeah, yes, but how much of the playbook is kind of pared down at this point for you? Pared down? I mean, do they have to pare it down a bit, the playbook? Or? Oh, no, it's the full playbook. Uh, yeah. Everything's open. Yeah. Just, I mean, I've been here for just as long as uh, yeah. a lot of these guys yeah. that come in, and we all have to work on the fly and be ready for the game. Yeah. Yeah. But how do you do that when you don't even get practice time, though? You're just on the scout team you know, most of the week. Um, I mean, when you're on scout team, it's tough. Uh, you just have to stay in the meeting rooms, uh, yeah. listen to the yeah. coaches. Uh, Met with a lot with our uh, our uh, GA uh, Keller, our analyst. Yeah, I spent a lot of time with him, and he's been a real help. So, yeah. Anything helpful that Brendan said to you during that second half? Oh yeah, he was super supportful. I mean, uh, I I mean I was obviously keeping up to date with what like how he was feeling because if he's not going in, I'm in there. But when he when uh when I was going in, he was very helpful. He was telling me what he saw out there. Uh, just he's a great dude. So. Yeah. How do you land at Iowa? Can you walk us through a, a, quick, a, quick, a quick synopsis of how you ended up at the University of Iowa? Um, I was working with a quarterback coach named George Whitfield, and he yep. knew uh, Tim Lester. And they uh, they came down to San Diego, or Lester came down to San Diego to see me throw, and he liked what he saw, and I liked him as a person, and kind of just worked well. Yep. All right, thanks, Andrew.